just uh, into, the, into the line yeah. for you here, in the, into the career. Kind of what, what, what's going through your mind as you get ready for your last game? Man, I'm just enjoying everything that come up to it, man. Just enjoying these last two practices and enjoying these last times with, with these guys, bro, and just enjoying it. What, uh, what things do come to mind about your career here? I mean, it, it was fun, man. Learned a lot. Man, I was blessed to be able to come in and play early, man. Made, made good friends, made good plays. So, man, it was blessed, man. It was blessed. Your 46 starts, I think, you will have made. Could you right. ever anticipated that? Man, no. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, I would have never thought, I would have never thought I came here fresh, fresh fresh from prime, fresh from prime, had my first first career start, and then keep it, you know, just keep it going, you know. And God blessed me to always be healthy throughout these seasons and stuff like that. So, man, I'm blessed. <laughs> And then how big is it for you to leave here, sadly, with, with one more win over IU? Man, that's probably going to be the most important thing to me right now, man, getting this IU dub, keeping this bucket, man, be my third bucket I had. That's something I'm going to really want to be able to brag about every time I come back. Just, uh, with last week's game against Wisconsin, uh, did you guys need to be a little bit tighter? I mean, the, the coverages and stuff, because your quarterback had a lot of time. Uh, and it seemed to, the receivers seemed to be a little bit uh, running free at times. I mean, what what things did you guys work on this week to, to maybe shore that up? Um, we, we definitely had to be a little bit tighter on a few assignments we had. So, you know, we have uh, been working on that today, lining up a little bit tighter, playing things, you know, a little bit more aggressive for coming up for IU. Because uh, they, they have a pretty good group of wide receivers as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> So. Yeah, so, I mean, we've been watching them on film. We knew, you know, coming in this game, they had explosive receiver. They got depth air receiver. They got some, you know, 6'4 guys. You know, they got some 6'2 guys. They got a 5'11 shifty guy who can, you know, bust it over the top. So, I mean, they got – Man, they got good depth of receivers. You know, they throwing the ball around. They averaging about 300 passing yards a game. You know, uh, it's good to see Peyton Ramsey back, and he, you know, he playing good. And he he making you know better throws than he was last year. So we seeing the development, and then, you know, even some of the receivers from last year, we seeing you know the the evolution in that game, the development in that game. So we know, we already know what we getting into this week. So why did you come to Purdue? Man, co coming coming to Purdue. I was what, like 18 when I, I – I was 17 when I committed to Purdue. But um, I just knew that, like, a decision like that, like coming to college, that, that's not a, like a – you kind of got to think for the future. You can't be thinking like a 17-year-old person. I was trying to put myself in like a 25-year-old, 30-year-old uh, Nevon at that point in time. So, you know, I was thinking I wanted to come here. I wanted to compete against the top talent in the country prove that I could compete with the best guys in the country. Also, while, you know, getting a good education, being in, you know, a, a traditional program who got a lot of history, you, you feel me? So, stuff like that. It, it, you know, there's a lot of things I balance in. I feel like I made a great decision coming here, man. Been playing around some really good talent, been around some good coaches, learned a lot of knowledge, man. And, you know, it was just a great experience overall. So, if it, if it wasn't Purdue, it would have been who? Uh, I don't know. I ain't thinking about if it wasn't Purdue because I'm at Purdue. Who are some who are, who are some of the young guys in the secondary that uh, fans should keep an eye out for uh, looking forward 2020 and beyond? Man, I'm I'm telling you right now, there's so much depth in that secondary next year, man. That's gonna be that's probably gonna be one of the biggest stories coming in camp. That's this is the secondary. I mean, you got. I mean, you got Dedrick Mackey coming back. You got uh, Coco Mays. You got Coy Trice all in that corner. You may even see Simeon in that corner. You never know. You know, he played everywhere, nickel, corner safety. Mm -hmm. You got Jalen Graham, Marvin Grant, both of them in the safeties. Cam Allen, who came in and played great as a freshman. Like, man, so much depth back there. You got Caden, who showing up, making plays. Like, man, I can't throw around one or two names. But that's too much depth back there. I'm not even going to lie to you, so. Man, like, I just tell them, man, just see the course, respect the game. Y'all keep diving in y'all playbook. That's going to be scary to see these next few years, like, seriously.